Right, what we're doing is we're going to be putting an LED strip in the awning. You know, sometimes you see these vans with the um, LED strip that's going all along across the top there. I love that. So, Martin is going to be. So what uh, we've done, we bought from yeah, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, it was a light like, strip. It was a tenner or 15 quid. Yeah. Five meter roll. Five meter roll. We intend to run that along the awning channel. Which is this plastic channel along the top. Yep. That's like Mike has pointed out, we need to make sure you need to make sure you've actually got this strip. Yeah, if you if you do want to do it, make sure that you've got the sufficient awning that will take that well, sorry, that has got that little lip there. This is yeah. the, the light strip running F, like that. Yeah, this is the F eighty S awning. Uh, it came out about five or six years ago, I think. Um I know two lay as the strip one little benefit that mike has got he's had a, a light put along the top of his door they call a door entry light which lights up so yeah and what we yeah. what we've done so far we found the cable that feeds that strip buried in the top of the channel here so we've dug it out and what we propose to do is cut that wire and enter the led strip cabling into that cable so that it can all be turned on by the one from switch. that one there yeah that is our plan of action for today we might do it just wind your awning out a little bit more and then just lock it down no problem Get that extra strip that comes across how oh, they do that mark i don't know do you you get that um strip, strip along here too yeah, yeah you sorry you'd have to stick a wire inside this tube to get it to go across the chances of it surviving long yeah i'll be happy with just that <laughs> i don't want to be doing that'll be i imagine that'd be a bit of a nightmare that job and just to point out with these strips you can cut these strips anywhere they've got a scissors point making sure you cut clean through the middle because there's a positive and negative feed on each side of the of the track so you should be able to pick a live feed up from any one of those we're just going to uh, wind Mike's awning back in and have a look to see where the, the awning finishes on the van so that we've got room to run a little bit of cable up there on that part there yeah and it doesn't trap it when the awning goes pinch in. it when you roll the awning back in yeah, yeah. so we're just going to check that yeah we'll do that That'd be alright? Yeah, that'd be alright. That's fine. If you just wind around, what we've got to check on your, on your uh, camera is we've just checked to make sure we've got distance here where we can get a little bit of wire down to run these new lights. Yeah. And it's not going to be trapped by the awning case when it shuts. What we're concerned about is, is if the, um, when the awning gets rolled in, is if this little bit here goes too far in where it meets that channel there and crushes it so we're just going to test it now with a bit of old led strip good thing you said about that i can't get it in no more that's gone right in is that it there, is it? Yeah. Right. It's not touching it. No. I can pull it along, so it's obviously not jamming anywhere, so we can pull the old bit along. Yeah. We can't get it out, but we can pull it along. Yeah. <laughs> so that means it's free. Okay. That's good news then. When, once the awning's rolled in, it's not touching the um, the lights. Whew, that was a worry, that. But then that's what that channel's for. That channel is purposely for that LED strip. Finger on that one, Mike. What one? That one. Yep. I'm going to reach that one. <laughs> Somewhere I haven't got a connection. I think it's the one. Can you grab that one, Paul? Yeah. I think it's the one to your left there. Yeah. Oh, 
fine. Or it don't work. <laughs> Probably a bit bright to see him, isn't it? No, yeah, they're daylight, so they should look around. I'm definitely on positive. Your multimeter got a 9 volt battery in it. Yeah. It should light up with that. This is a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Have they got no, a good connection? No, there's nothing on. going to that. Yeah, hang on, mate. You ain't got your on the metal bit. No. Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah look at that. Got, right, got it. That's what we use after. <laughs> right, okay, so, so they, they work. They, yeah, they work. Hang on. <laughs> Because we've got, a, we've only got a connection going to be halfway along our light run. What I wanted to do is on the on the lighting strip, any one of these copper connections will make a connection to 12 volt feed, which means I haven't got to run a cable to this end of it. Yeah. There. Oh, I see. On the end. Well, they're all in parallel, so it won't matter. Well, it doesn't matter. So I can just cut the cable here and connect yeah. it to the lights. Gotcha on one of these setters of the coppers, whichever one lines up, and we can make a connection there. Imagine peeling off the double-sided at the back, and it don't stick. Yeah. We're gonna try and punch a cable from the back, solder it onto these little tags here, and run it through to the main, so that we can just put the shortest piece of wire we can get away with up there to cable it in, which is gonna be a little bit of black wire like this. So we'll have a positive and negative feed taken off of that, positive and negative feed taken off of your light run, and it should all light up nice and bright. <laughs> we shall see. I'm going to be able to do this either. Yeah, that'll be for me. Bingo. Just, so we've soldered the wires onto your LED strip. A little bit more pronounced than we really wanted to do, but we have. And what we're doing now is we're just going to introduce it to a battery to make sure yeah. we've got the connection. We have. So we're on our own. We'll move on to the next phase of the job. It's all lumpy for his holding things. <laughs> Cameras and soldering irons. Well, I'm like the soldering irons, but it can cool down at his leisure. What we're going to do now is just introduce some hot melt glue to it. To seal it all off and stop it moving and pulling out. Lovely. That's the plan, Stan. Always, I'm afraid, take time on a hot mod glue gun. They do do a little plug, being honest, that you can clip onto the cable. Yeah. Um, you put wires on in one side and this side. Yeah. And you, you feed your two positive and negative into there. And then you clip your light strip into that side mm. and it clips it on. But because we want to join in the middle of the light run, yeah, yeah. we've got to get the cable off the center of the light sockets i mean if you've got the space on your vehicle you could just run the cable from the end of the light source there mm. or this positive and negative feed cable here just couple it up mm -hmm. bob's your uncle you're in yeah. see they do do solder joints on there yeah they do them it's not the end of the world but getting that cable from back there all the way along there to where we're going to join it mm. you'd have to tuck a bit of cable underneath that black thing and it'd be forever falling out and it'd just be right picked here it's warm now, isn't it? Here she comes. Tight to the... Yeah, lovely. To the thing. Once the hot milk glue's gone off. Right, Mike, do you yeah. just want... Sorry. No, you're right, no. Did you want our... Um... I've got some... Um, oh, lovely. Beer yes. in here. Yeah. Some, um... Ooh, look at that. Thank you very much, Linda. You're very welcome. Yeah, that would be nice. Normally I would be tempted to have um, put some sort of bit of insulation around the end, but because this is going into a plastic orifice, mm -hmm. there's no point. Okay. This is, there's nothing that it can touch with any of these. Yeah. And the thing when you're sticking this on, is not to pull it too tight, so don't stretch it. And Otherwise, that, you'll find it will. And the, the the thickness, sorry, the his width is a five mil, wouldn't it? 
No, we're not talking about 10 mil, wouldn't we? Yeah. yeah, one yeah, centimetre, yeah. Binky. Yeah. I'm going to take it the one that's all red. Oh, I see you are. This is a positive. But what we will do is just stick a meter on there and check. Just to check. Because if we get it the wrong way around, all our hard work. Yeah. We'll go straight out the window. All your hard work, Mark. My hard work. Not mine. <laughs> A little bit of cable off here and what we're going to do here in a minute is we're going to put all these cables into what we call a scotch lock so all the positive cables are going to go in there and all the negative cables will go on the other side and then we crimp them all together and it makes a nice waterproof type joint without too much of a to do going on that's the plan. That's that one. Our little new cable we're going to introduce here. We just go around there to the voltage. And then we're going to check what voltage we've got on our line and which way around the polarity is so we know which cable is positive and which cable is negative. So Power on, mate, again. Power on? Power on. Power on. That one I am going to take it at the moment is actually negative, so we'll put a little crocodile slip on it. And then we'll push out put that up right up there so it don't make no silly connections. And we'll put our positive one on the positive one. Push that up there so it don't make no noise connections. Brain. Hopefully we'll put that on there, and that on there, and you turn her on. Oh. oh, there you go. There you go, right way around. So as we anticipated, if it was the wrong way around for argument's sake, we can show you that online. If we were to put it positive negative on my meter, it will immediately come up with a little negative sign. Oh yeah. So it's ran the wrong way. Yeah. See the negative at the beginning of yeah. the, if this light? That tells me it's ran the wrong way. So the way we checked it in the beginning is correct. Love and Joe. Alright, so that's how we do that. Kill that, turn your power off. I've seen you before. Yeah, I've seen you on Crime Watch. They're breaking into a van just like this one. <laughs> what we're completely doing now is we've spliced our cables up here into Mike's old light LED light here. With this this one, yeah. Yes, this one. And we've spliced the new light link into this light cluster up here. And we've hot melt glued that into the panel so it, it's watertight. What we're now going to do is. Uh, before we go any further, I think we all have a test. Yep, yeah, let's right? test it before we let's put everything it away. We put it all away. Here we go. Right. The big turn on the, the switch. The big turn on the switch. I'm going to get the right switch first. Three, two, one. Yes. No. Yeah, I'm well happy with that. That is. I think really... tonight, a bit later on. Oh, yeah, dusk, yeah, definitely. In we the... can film it again in, the, in dusk. Yeah. So will, uh, oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Brilliant. So we're all going. We've just got to tap the cable in a way. Yeah. Lovely. Simple as it is. Excellent. Brilliant. Look at that. Yeah. Well, you've got to stop messing about with it. Just leave that like that, I think. Some last finishing touches. Used a bit of mastic to um, attach the wire to the van and blend it in with the colour. So that it's, uh, it all looks nice and tidy, which it does. I just got to hope the old um, thingy doesn't interfere with that when it comes back in now. So there you have it in the dark. It's pitch black where we are now. And uh, as you can see, it's lighting up 
very big area and I've not got the uh, flash on the camera it's just uh, filming without it I've turned it off so that's how it is very pleased with that thanks very much for watching the video I'll leave a link in the description to the LED strip that we bought and um, please consider subscribing to this channel it helps us out a lot thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon in the next video